Thank you to James Sunderland for the introduction. Hello everyone, I am Rob Walker, the Managing Director of Cognizant for the UK and Ireland. Today, we're here to share some thoughts on the partnership between Cognizant and Aston Martin Formula One. For those of you who don't know Cognizant, we are a US listed technology company. We employ over 7,000 people onshore in the UK and Ireland and are one of the leading global companies specialising in helping our clients drive digital and data transformations. We serve a broad range of corporates and public sector organisations in the UK and Ireland, ranging from Google, Network Rail, Centrica, British Telecom, NatWest and many others. In public sector, we work with HMRC, NHS and the MOD across a number of digital transformations. However, public sector is a passion for me personally as it is purposeful growth. I'd like to talk to you today about why we're in an amazing data age, how F1 is setting the benchmark for data and performance and explaining how Cognizant is supporting Aston Martin Formula One and highlight that there is more in common between Formula One and government services that may meet the eye and therefore outline how these can be transferable to government and drive improvement to citizen services. Before we begin, let's acknowledge that there are very few sports where the UK has sustained leadership. We have the highest number of F1 world champions. My own earliest memory of F1 is the 1991 Spanish Grand Prix with Nigel Mansell fighting for the lead with Ayrton Senna. In extremely tricky road conditions, Nigel Mansell overtook Senna down the straight, racing at 185 miles per hour, wheel to wheel, vapour trails, flying off the back of a car, just an extraordinary degree of courage and skill shown by both drivers. From that point on, I was hooked on this amazing sport. The British motorsport industry developed post-war from the aerospace industry. If you look at the cars today, they look more like rockets than anything you or I would recognise as a car. The first British Grand Prix in 1928 at Brooklands, a banked racing track. And then Silverstone was used as the first official Grand Prix hosted in the UK in 1950. And I believe it's the oldest F1 track still in use today. Seven of the 10 Formula One teams are based in Britain and invest an estimated £1 billion into research and development every year. The UK motorsport industry today is worth an estimated £10.5 billion, employing over 45,000 people and exporting 75% of its output. That is larger than the equivalent sectors in Germany, Italy and France combined. One of those is our partner, Aston Martin Formula One. Let me show you a video. Aston Martin has racing its DNA from the very beginning. And advancing technology through racing, lightweight materials, lightweighting the cars, the aerodynamics of the car, always been part of the makeup of an Aston Martin. Being back on the grid, it really is back where we belong. It's a team process here at Aston Martin. And within that team, you have manufacturing, you have engineering, and you have design. The engineer-designer relationship is vital, and that's when you get excellence. When you have perfection in engineering, that drives perfection in design. I mean, design as a principle is the generation of ideas. You create a drawing which comes from your inner thinking that you can communicate through a visual language. Thoughts that may come from looking at art, from looking at movies, from looking at sculpture, from looking at an exhibition. But if you look at nature and technology, there is a direct link. The structures that exist within nature and how we make forms and structures out of carbon fiber, there is a symbiosis between them. I mean, technology within the design context allows us to trial and error different ideas very, very quickly. We use CAD, we use virtual reality goggles to see something that doesn't exist. Testing and, and car technology is so important to us. Currently, we are Le Mans champions. That's racing a car at its limit for 24 hours. And therefore, you have to be accurate with everything. You have to test everything. You have to be rigorous in the way you apply that, making sure you're performing at the ultimate for two hours or 24 hours. This is where Cognizant can really help. It can put that data at our fingertips so we can analyze and make a better car. It's really important that we 
look at how we use technology within Aston Martin, but ultimately an Aston Martin is handmade, hand-built. You look at an Aston Martin interior, there is typically one seamstress, that seamstress would do left and right hand seat because their individual sew line is uniquely different. So it's like a fingerprint. And that's so important. It's an artisan approach. We create by hand when we first imagine the car in clay. And that becomes a piece of sculpture, of physical manual build. The paint check is done by the left hand wearing a glove. So ultimately, that hand can feel imperfections in the surface. It can feel anything that may have been out of place. And at the end of the day, the car, before it rolls off the line, has its wings placed on by hand. So there's a connection. There's a connection, therefore, when the driver starts to drive an Aston Martin, because they can almost feel and sense that this car was handmade, was made with care. And I'll call it love, made with love, made with passion. As a fan of Formula One, it's so exciting to be back on the racetrack in Formula One with Cognizant as a partner. And together, we can really push the boundaries in terms of technologies to improve our road cars, but ultimately to win on the track. So what are we doing with Aston Martin Formula One in terms of services? As I mentioned before, Cognizant has world-leading skills across cloud and engineering, data analytics, and machine learning. We would consider ourselves as digital engineers. Trackside, we will bring mobile edge computing, cloud, internet of things, which all use massive amounts of data, which in turn needs to be processed in real time and simulated to help shave off milliseconds that are ever so important in this high performance sport. What does Cognizant bring? Streamlining engineering data through the elimination of low value ad tasks, faster analytics and visualization by improving data ingestion and processing, closed loop notification and management of change requests between departments, i.e. an agile way of dealing with data improvements, traceability of inventory in real time to reduce costs, and finally, provide an agile fit for purpose technology backbone. How does it serve the team? It enables scarce budgets to be directed on design goals. It automates the mundane and frees up hours to focus on critical decisions and investigations. We will reduce effort and cost of engineering, change management and coordination, interpret data faster and better, plan, track and record costs against the regulatory cost caps. So let's make this come alive as to what we are doing with the team with a few examples. At the recent Barcelona Grand Prix, the difference between finishing fourth and 14th in qualifying was 0.4 seconds around a three mile racetrack. The FIA cost cap measures and regulations mean car testing in wind tunnels is both limited and extremely expensive. We are helping Aston Martin Formula One with the effort and time in car development and race logistics through the automation of the data flows from the wind tunnels across their engineering teams. With the application of artificial intelligence and machine learning, the effort and time in car development and race logistics and optimization can be recovered by reducing non-value added tasks and automating analytical and optimization models. We expect that between 20 to 30% of the effort in engineering detailing, optimization and analytics cycles can be saved and repurposed, allowing Aston Martin in turn to get the upgrades on the car up to two races earlier in the season. Simply, we're helping the car go faster. Managing vehicle development, bill of material, test and race data sets, and overall scheduling with a unified data foundation to manage cost cap components. By 2022, a dynamic model for allocation, visualization, and reducing the effort can be put in place to free up an additional 5% of the race budget and proactively manage costs for the 2022 season and beyond. Finally, Aston Martin has the potential to be the British Ferrari. The Aston Martin brand is iconic, and already Aston Martin has some of the highest social media coverage following their return to Formula One after more than 60 years. We are helping Aston Martin connect with their fan base by building an experience platform, ensuring that fans have an exceptional digital experience and an easy way to engage with the team get insights and connect. 
This is similar to a digital experience platforms that we have built with the Football Association. So what are the parallels with government services? Well, I'm sure that many across government will be familiar with the requirements to operate within an ever decreasing cost envelope, getting more output and performance every year with less money to spend. Add into that, how do you embrace technology and data, often under significant time pressures to drive outcomes? The similarities are very clear to see. Akin to Formula One, government departments face similar challenges, but the pandemic has shone a light on a different side of government in its ability to change gears and deliver complex projects at rapid pace and scale in a situation not witnessed in the recent past. HMRC's coronavirus job retention scheme is an excellent example announced at the start of the UK's first lockdown in March 2020 and went live on the 20th of April to assist more than 11.3 million jobs and 1.3 million employers through the COVID-19 crisis. The NHS COVID-19 contact tracing app is another example of government departments and other institutions mobilising resources and funds to find ways to tackle the virus, keep citizens safe and to manage current and future infection rates. Home testing kits revolutionised rapid testing using lateral flow diagnostics, topped with the application of artificial intelligence and machine learning to ensure accuracy of the tests and determining the risk interventions. Working with Sensine, Cognizant developed an AI ML app that read lateral flow tests up to three times more effectively than the human eye in confirming low levels of infection and has gained MHRA approval. The vaccine approval and rollout accomplished at great speeds and bringing the best of the NHS topped with military precision to bear, adopted a different approach, assembled military and private sector support to be the largest vaccination programme the country has ever run. It's remarkable how data drives action and real-time intelligence on GP practices, equipment, warehouse inventories, logistics, as well as information about patients and staff readiness, which has enabled us to reach such impressive vaccination milestones. Similar to F1 cars generating enormous amounts of data during training and race days that need to be analysed, in a similar fashion to diagnosing a patient. Cognizant supported Genomics England to develop a tool to assist clinicians in inspecting the data to help identify results for diagnostic purposes. Brexit transition deadline for December 2020 posed another high pressurised situation for the UK government. Cognizant supported the Future Borders programme with the timely rollout of the Check and HGV service, with the user experience at the heart of the project, creating a seamless experience working collaboratively with about 26 different government departments and agencies in an Agile-based delivery approach. Let's look at how a pit crew works through an F1 Agile delivery. It takes 23 individuals with different roles to change tyres in around two seconds. This year at Monaco, the pit stop was the decisive factor that led to Sebastian Vettel beating Lewis Hamilton. Each individual has a specific task within a multidisciplinary team environment. The same principle applies to government, working effectively across multiple functions. Citizen experience is also key. The evolution of gov.uk to provide seamless experience to citizens. Users are now familiar with the ease of using platforms such as Amazon and are looking for the same level of experience. For the MOD, it's about being ambitious with its vision for how AI and automation will transform the defence enterprise. Using experimentation to trial, fail, learn and succeed and developing processes that allow agile adoption through the enterprise and taking a nimbler approach. There are three key points. Process improvements. It's about setting the benchmark, giving people the space to think differently and empower the frontline commanders to take real-time action to secure the future. Cost reduction. Like the cost cap in F1, all central government departments, including the MOD, face significant budgetary pressure. Breaking down single service silos to exploit the cost savings from robotic process automation, machine learning can help ensure the departments make the best use of its resources. Pursuing differentiation. Defence thrives on military innovation, shows that operational advantage and understanding how best to use new technology than developing technology itself will require transformation across people, process and policy. Strong strategic leadership 
is critical to make this happen, similar to F1 and what it takes to make that one second of a difference on a racetrack. The parallels that can be drawn are in the approach, the mindset, and using the best of technology to your advantage. So as you can see, there are huge similarities between Aston Martin Formula One and government. How do you use technology? How do you operate within a cost cap? How do you drive innovation? How do you get differentiation? How do you create an amazing experience? Thanks very much for listening.